Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. Always a pleasure. I hope that you're doing good today. I am here with Spirit as always to bring you light, love, and clarity from the divine. So as always, only take the messages that are meant for your highest good and leave the rest behind. We're going to actually pull a soul truth and a soul helper before we get into the reading. So let's begin. And we have, what am I waiting for? Is someone else to do it for me? Heck yeah. <laughs> of course we are, right? I mean, we know we have a lot to do. We have a lot on our plate. But most importantly, nothing's going to get done the way we want. Because only know, you know, only we know what our vision is for ourselves, right? So this is about you not sitting by the wayside, waiting for somebody to knock on your door or give you that phone call or send you that message. This is about you looking at if you took life into your own hands, which is what you should do anyway, right? then this is where you get to forge the path that you see for yourself. So put your heart into action, people, and ask yourself, what can you do that's going to move you towards your dreams? Okay? This is that saying, get up, get up, get up. It is time to rise and shine, people. All right, so you know what? I'm going to actually leave this card here as a gentle reminder that if you want something to happen, you have to be the one, right? So you know that you can endure. Whatever has not been done, you can start. Don't ever quit on yourself, okay? You just have to begin. All right, let's look at the soul helper and see what's going on here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for helping Pisces on their journey. Oh, nice. The dragon. I love it. This is the love of your dragon reaches out to you. All right. So again, card number 26 breaks down to eight. And what we're looking at here is what does the dragon look like to you? What, what do you see when you look at this card, right? Because there's something about you being a little spitfire. So the truth that's reflected in your own eyes of the dragon, all right? This is like the love of the divine, which is that source for all the things that begin to sparkle within you, all right? So use your dragon-like energy for like healing yourself, for loving yourself better. It, it's something about... The, it's it's the perception of the true reason why you're here, okay? And dissolving any of the conditioning of the past that could be diverting you from the path that you're on, all right? So this is telling me that somebody needs a little uplifting, somebody needs a little motivation or a little push. Excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the empath cards. Because self-care, self-love is where it all begins. Whether you need to rest or just have fun this weekend. There's something coming up where you need to start preparing yourself for more. All right, so stay alert. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, and higher beings. What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces on their journey today? Okay. <laughs> Does that not look like a dragon to you? All right. This is death and rebirth, people. I love it. This is a part of you that is transforming. And I know all too well what that transformation looks like, right? So again, we're talking about you. What's happening in your world that needs to change? And the best way to look at this is that like this phoenix that right resurrects from the dead okay this is where you become the alchemist what can you do and change from lead to gold what can you start working on to charge you know it's like the transformation of pain sometimes when we are in pain that is when we feel at our lowest but there's something that's so deep inside you, such as the dragon, the fire that says, no, I need to get up and go. I need to figure out a way where I can restore and balance who I am, 
right? And take that fragile side of yourself and give it love, give it nourishment, okay? There is a relentless effort that you have been like either working too hard at something or struggling too hard within your own thoughts on trying to get somewhere, okay? So contain your emotions and look at anything from the past which has been your preparation for what is to come. Oh, nice. The star divine. I actually, when I picked up this card, the first thing I heard in my head was a star is born. Okay. And what is the star and the divine mean for you? Well, this is your power. This is your recognition. This is compassion and capacity. So pay attention to everything um, like that's in your thoughts right now, because somehow your, your energetic connection to self as a human is part of this divine process. In other words, the spiritual world for you, the divine purpose that you're seeking is trying to work together with your human side, because this is where you are. You're planted here on earth. And so you're trying to correlate between the two worlds, how you can like walk through your daily life in balance and in peace along the way, your control, right? Of your inner kingdom. This is, this is where the divine star comes from. It is also this female represents the goddess who actually supports us where we are. In other words, there's no right, there's no wrong. You're going to stumble, you're going to make mistakes, and you're also going to do some great things, right? So when you recognize that in itself, you are able to understand that some things are going to work out during the day, and then some things are not. But that shouldn't change your vision and the way that you feel about yourself. Oh my God, that's why. Unapologetic. I love it. So this is where you're not apologizing anymore for who you are and what you're doing and what you're about, all right? Because you're looking at how you can, like, I don't know, look, it's not over for you unless you decide that you want to stay in a place of loss, right? So no one can tell you that you lose. No one can tell you that you're unworthy. It is up for you to rise up and understand that through some failures, okay, those, those are your, your seeds. Those are where you grow the most, and, and you're supposed to use that. Those who think that you're weak do not see the wolf inside of you, and Spirit wants you to recognize that within yourself. Do it anyway. Do it anyway is what they're saying. Oh, nice. Okay. Inner darkness. So this is what you are releasing. Okay. Another five, which is what? It is change. It is changing not just who you are and what you think about yourself, but it is the change that's taking place in your life so that you can have stability instead of instability. Four is your expression. Look at that fire. See how this dragon, you're just connecting to that right now. But this is the phase you're going to go into next. You're going to scream. You're going to shout. You're going to let it all out. Oh my God, my stomach is like on fire right now just talking to you guys. Which is telling me that you have reached the end of your rope, if you will. And in, in that sense, what I mean is... You're done. You're done with the old you. You're ready for the new you. And you're ready to express yourself in the, in the most beautiful fashion. Okay? So take what I'm saying to you to heart. Because when we're looking at our expression of oneself, this is that part where do you need to let out some steam? Right? Don't hold anything in or anything back on your next couple of weeks. Because this is, the, this is your true expression of oneself. This is where any, any boiled up emotions, they need to surface so that you can speak without rage. Do you understand? Um, it's kind of like, have you ever seen where somebody just, 
they don't know what to do with themselves anymore and they just run into their bedroom and they just put their head in their pillow and they scream so loud. It is because it has to come out of you in order for it to process, okay? So look at this is where you're communicating with yourself about any misunderstandings. Hmm. Aw, community. Yes, this is, this is the joy they want for you, right? About you communicating with people in your world, in your reality, because the community card is a representation of where you need to connect with others, not spend time home alone. Okay, I, I get it. Home is your sanctuary. It is where you get your peace and you don't have to face the outside world. But when you start reaching out, and I don't care if it's just taking a walk in a park, sitting at a bench and talking to a stranger, but make some sort of um, connections with new people. See where you are, because you will see yourself within any conversations that you hold with others, okay? It's an important part for you to recognize too, do you need help? Do you, are you willing to, to ask for help or assistance? And it doesn't mean that you're asking somebody else to carry the burden, right? Because it's not that you're asking for someone else to do it for you. It's asking for someone else to be a part of this with you and learn from, from them, right? Especially older people because they are so much wiser. They have experienced a great deal in their own lives and they have made many mistakes as well. Right? So um, they learned over time that forgiveness is a big part of their journey because in spite of all of this, you are in control. You get to dictate, right? So do it anyway is the power of your perseverance. Perspective. Love it. See, I knew it. Okay. Expression brings perspection. Okay. So when we're looking at our perspective, what are we referring to here? Let's talk about this. This is about being objective. This is about non-bias and allowing new information to come in, right? And it's about checks and balances so that you can see, have you been headstrong in a certain area where you, you realize that, yes, this is your vision and this is the way you want to travel and this is the way that you want to live. However, you're not in this world alone. So you, you can, yes, keep your eyes on your own paper when it comes to your dreams and your goals. Those aspirations are yours. And, and everything that you see fit to do for that is of value to you personally. But your perspective um, it, it is about opening up to additional viewpoints so that when you do need further assistance, you know where to go. You know which people to get in contact with. You know what type of research you need, whether it's literature, right, or further study. But the perspective part of this is about, can you look at situations in another manner, okay? Uh, whatever angle that is, that is for you to checking um, your blind spots, okay? It's very helpful. All right, and then this is where you hit the pause button because everything that you're learning, everything that you're understanding about yourself is much different than where you were last year, okay? And so it's still like you're just navigating a new course. You, you have an outline, um, you, you have a plan, but there's just different things. And this is why we're doing the empath cards right now is so that you can be gentle with yourself along this way. Let's do one more. Yeah, see, here we go, another four. So you might start seeing a lot of fours, a lot of twos, and a lot of fives on your clocks, um, even on license plates, okay? But this is about your self-love. And self-love, well, that's always a good thing because when we, when we give ourselves that self-love, right, then we are accepting ourselves for who that we are. And we're desiring to be oneself and change on your own terms. You know what needs to be ch changed. You know what needs to be done, right? So be go beyond your goal is what I'm hearing right now. But along the way, 
pay close attention to what your body needs, what your mind needs. Do you need more sleep and rest? Or do you need to go and spend some time um, on, on the sand in front of the ocean or take that walk through the forest, right? There's all kinds of ways. And you may also find that what you used to do in the past that would relax you is different now. You know, because you see things differently, you hear things, you smell things. These, all these transformational changes that you're going through is somewhere a little bit uncomfortable. They're asking me to pay, uh, pull one more card, so let me see why. Oh, it's the empath, and that is why. Because the majority of you that listen to these readings are innately empaths. And so it's like you pick up energies from everything. Uh, it, it is, how can I explain this? It, okay, so if you ever walked in a store or um, a warehouse and there are noises, um, and it could be machinery, it could be chatter from people, it, 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 it's like sound, and you don't even realize it, but it's irritating you because it's a frequency that isn't calm. It doesn't soothe you, right? And it's also about when you're listening to others. Yes, you want to be kind. You want to be gentle and you want to assist. But don't forget, you're not here to take on other people's burdens. You're here to show them the light so that they can move further on their own journey within themselves, okay? So remember that as an empath, you are sensitive to others' calls. You are sensitive to everything and you need to release what's not yours, very important. This is a foundation of boundaries that includes self-connection, okay, to manage your own energy and wring out the sponge is what I call it, right? Because you are, you're a walking sponge. You absorb everything and it's time for you to recognize when um, you absorb certain things, what do you want to keep and what do you want to release from that, okay? Because this is, this empath, is your superpower and, and you need to protect it like a jewel because that is what it is it is part of your unique gift and it's for display only it is not to be touched what that what that means is it's in your heart and it's in your your soul space okay and it is not for anybody else to penetrate through so this is why they're showing you these waves of energies that are being released and we are very close towards the full moon that's coming up right so pay close attention to that as well because you do not want to suppress your emotions okay holding in only piles up and then all hell breaks loose and we don't want to see that happen. Not for yourself and not for the party that ends up receiving your wrath, okay? Now, let's go ahead into, oh, I got it. Let's use some Kyle Gray energy vibes. All right, let's raise it up, people. Raise it, raise it, raise it. Your soul is being refreshed. You are no longer blocking out fear. Okay, what I mean by that is you're facing your fears and you're releasing it as you go. Okay, don't hide who you are. Just get it done. All right, angels, what messages do you have for Pisces? Mm -hmm. Trust your vibes. This is what I'm talking about. Your vibrations are... Your, just like your body speaks to you, so does your vibrations because the vibrations that are inside you tell you everything about what's going on, right? Is there friction? Is this, is this good for me or is this bad for me? Because you want to thank your angels today that you are choosing to use your intuition, not just your feelings and your emotions, but your third eye, right? This is when your eyes are closed. What are you hearing? What are you seeing with your eyes closed? Because you have to trust in those instincts. This is about you seeing right through it, right? And this is a heightened intuition. So trust yourself, trust your gut and the circumstances that are surrounding this, whatever this thing is, when you know it, you'll feel it, right? And so you're also looking at um, how sometimes you start to receive um, like opulent uh, psychic downloads. So you don't even know, but for some of you, and you can let me know in the comments, 
do you ever just sit and when you're in a zone or you're doing your own thing, you'll, your ears are start to ring. Um, and it, it's a, it's a, a sound, you know, the sound that they make when they're doing hearing tests, right? Those audibles, that's part of the downloads. And so spirit wants you to pay attention when those downloads are happening. What are you thinking about? What's on your mind? Where are you headed? Where is your energy? Okay, because when you get those downloads, that's information that spirit and the universe are bringing to you so that you can follow the yellow brick road to where your destiny lies. All right, let's do a couple of more. Yes, Earth Angel, that's who you are. That is your empath power, right? Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be aware more right? And to be more like you, more like the divine and the soul sister that you are. Because as an earth angel, this is, this is spirit coming in and saying, you're doing a great job and you need to keep up the good work, right? So stay positive. Um, continue to help others, okay? Within reason, all right? Continue to help the world around you. In other words, being in service is a, is a way to Serving others is actually serving yourself. And, and you're going to ask spirit, how can I serve today, right? When you wake up in the morning, dear God, dear angels, whomever you speak to, how can I be of service today? What is going to bring someone else joy and fill my own heart with love? Connect with music always again. And this is why the ears and the audible that we were talking about before, because music changes everything. It, it, it is instinctive to what you listen to that tells you what your vibration is. You know, are you putting on that love song? Are you putting on something with a, with a upbeat, you know, do you want to dance and boogie down or do you just want a storyteller, you know, like Gordon Lightfoot? Cats in the Cradle. I don't know why that music is coming to me right now. Um, but it allows you to sort out what's going on in your, in your little bubble area, right? It's in other words, you're finding the instrument that moves you. And this is about how when we change our vibrations and our energy connection to ourselves and Mother Earth, then we get inspired with the sound and we start to have fun, right? This uplifting music aids in positive ways. So there are also spiritual messages within the lyrics and the angels want to be your dance partner at this time. All right, one more before Archangel Michael. Yes, express your creativity. And again, back here, we were talking about express yourself, right? So this is about what, what can you do that allows you to color your world the way you see it, okay? And that means that you're going to use whatever talents you have, okay, to create something new and express this as a divine gift, all right? So... The, the big message here is what they're telling me because they keep showing me the sun is get out. As soon as the day rises this weekend, get up and get out. Do not start a house chore. Do not start answering phone calls. Get out and do something. Get in that car even if you do not know where you're headed. Okay? Make sure you have gas in the car. But just... I, I don't know. I'm actually seeing somebody um, driving a car down like um, not a dirt road, but it's it's a rural area where horses are running um, along the fence line. OK, so they really want you to go out and have some fun this weekend and give all your cares up to God, Jesus, whomever you pray to, because it's time for you to surrender and not work so hard. Your dreams, your visions will come to fruition, people, okay? But there's so many other beautiful things in this world that you need to experience while you're going through this, okay? It's almost like they're saying, enough with the nine to five. Enough with the nine to five is what they're saying to me. So they're, they're saying, you know, maybe you might want to start your weekend early, but use the most out of the next couple of days to bring joy into your heart and bring joy into your world. All right, Pisces, I hope you love this reading. Thank you so much for all your love, comments, and subscribing. Bye-bye.